my background is African American mm -hmm. civil rights movement. My parents were very engaged in ministry yeah. um, um, in the Deep South in Birmingham, Alabama, um, right in the heart of where the civil rights movement took place. Mm -hmm. So I lived in the community of the likes of Angela Davis. That's lovely. And yes, yes. So wow. uh, my community was the African American, you know, Ongawa yeah. Black Power kind of. Activists, yeah. <laughs> yes, activists, activists, the heart of that. Yeah. Um, the 16th Street Baptist Church was only blocks from my home. I was on 7th Street. Um, the church that uh, was blown up yeah. with the young uh, girls mm -hmm. in it was only blocks from my home. Hi, Royal Kingdom Estate family. I hope everybody's doing amazing. Welcome back to the platform. This is the Motherland series and I am your host, Ajwa Adi. You know what the Motherland series is about? We speak to very wonderful people, creating change, our clients mostly, people that are, you know, being wonderful out there trying to bridge the gap between the diaspora and the Motherland. And today I have an amazing woman with me right here. I've had the chance of being with her throughout the weekend, starting from the conference to our site visits to the cocktail that we had last night. And she's just truly inspirational and amazing. I can't wait to personally get to the profile and listen to her life story, her journey, and how she got to this point. So ladies and gentlemen, all together, help me welcome Angelique. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me, Angela. You're welcome. You look good. beautiful. Thank you. You're Thank glowing. You. you have the Ghana glow. You're right. You know? right. I it, may see be, it. it may be the name change. It may be the... <laughs> yes. Know, is, is it Akosia? Akosia. Hey, Mami Akosia. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to learn that when I got here. Once I heard yeah. my counterpart talking and say, sharing with people that mm -hmm. when they would ask her her name. And I know her name is Lisa. And of course, when she would say her Ghanaian name yeah. and her surname, I was just like, what? What, what is, is that? that? So I started to look mine up. I was just like, I'm someone. So the days of the week mm -hmm. really determined yeah. the his and her name. Exactly. So that was fascinating in and of itself in this experience. So it's very well. I'm going to go home and let my family know they can no longer call me Angela. It's Akosia. Mami Akosia. Akosia. Exactly. Mami Akosia. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the profile bit. Yeah. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Where did you grow up? Uh, how was life growing up? And how did you specifically find yourself? in the space that you are currently? Oh wow, what a wonderful question to be asked because it's truly a part of my story. I have to first give God honor and glory because mm -hmm. of um, just where he's placed me in my life and I, I really believe that it has so much to do with my upbringing. Okay. So I am, and I shared at the, at the um, conference, my background is African-American, mm -hmm. civil rights movement. My parents were very engaged in ministry. Yeah. Um, um, in the Deep South, in Birmingham, Alabama, um, right in the heart of where the civil rights movement took place. Mm -hmm. So I lived in the community of the likes of Angela Davis. That's lovely. And yes, yes. So wow. uh, my community was the African American, mm -hmm. you know, Ungawa yeah. Black Power kind of. Activists, yeah. <laughs> yes, activists, activists, the heart of that. Yeah. Um, the 16th Street Baptist Church was only blocks from my home. I was on 7th Street, um, the church that um, was blown up yeah. with the young uh, girls mm -hmm. in it was only blocks from my home. Wow. But my parents were um, not only activists and ministers, mm -hmm. they were global travelers and they believed yeah. in the exposure and really exploring the world as it as we know it yeah. and getting beyond or going beyond the borders of the south yeah so early on my father was very involved in um ministry missions and trade missions right. abroad he's traveled to egypt and jerusalem bethlehem that's amazing my mother was even buried in a dress from jerusalem that wow they got in the 50s and 60s okay so if you can imagine my parents having church meetings or in the deep south where it was almost forbidden for yeah. people to get together without it being disrupted mm -hmm. um a black man going to the airport with you know 15 20 people yeah. to get on a klm flight in the 60s 
So wow. he didn't do that once. That's, he didn't do that that's twice. Bold. Yes, he I'm did that seven times. Yeah, yeah, seven times from the south. So um, we had a very large family. Uh -huh. My parents. How large? Ten. Ten kids. My mother and father have. I have ten. Mm -hmm. I have six sisters and three brothers. Wow. So all from the same parents. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that's a big thing to say yeah. because the relationship was exactly what it said. So. My brother was baptized in the Jordan. Mm -hmm. My mother, you know, had gone over out of overseas with him multiple times and he took others. Right. So I think that I innately, I didn't know it, but I just inherited exactly. that desire yeah. to explore the world mm -hmm. and to take others and to open the minds of others and have them really experience the world. Even my children, my husband's Caribbean, yeah. uh, West Indian rather. Mm -hmm. And um, my children have um, traveled the world. So are they older? They're older. I have okay. five children. Wow. Um, You're they're blessed. In colleges and universities throughout okay. the U.S. Uh -huh. Extremely blessed um, in that area. Beyond blessed. Blessed beyond measure. Yeah. Um, with my kids and their professions. They're in um, studies abroad. Mm -hmm. You know, medical studies, um, neurology, yeah. orthopedics. Um, and even genetics and things like Amazing. that. So, yeah. So that's kind of where the desire mm -hmm. really came from and, and my experience. Yeah. How many times have you um, traveled to Ghana so far? Well, this is my first time to Ghana. This is the first? Yes. I've gone to East Africa. You're too Yes, my counterpart insisted wow. when she said, Angelique, we're yeah. going to Ghana. I was just like, oh, okay. I thought yeah. this was like a fifth or sixth time. Cause you, I don't know, you you look like you belong. <laughs> yeah, Akosia. Akosia, of course. <laughs> she does belong actually. So yeah, yeah. So. I see, that is wonderful. So yes. this is the first time. Absolutely, to the West region, to okay. the West, to West Africa. Right. But um, I have clients, Intuitive Global mm -hmm. is my consulting firm. And, yeah. Um, I've worked to develop um, African clients yeah. and build relationships in Africa or throughout Africa. Yeah. And um, really was very successful bringing um, our international business yeah. development person on, Lisa Cooney, who insisted that we look at West Africa and the yeah. opportunities here. Being the first time here, how has your experience been so far? What is your perspective about the motherland? Uh, the perspective of the motherland is um, exactly that. Mm -hmm. I believe the motherland is a woman. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Very much like my woman. It really business. is. But yes, I mean, it is mothering. Yeah. It is nurturing. Mm -hmm. It is giving. It is resourceful. Yeah. It is bountiful. So um, it really does. As soon as your feet hit the ground, yeah. you can feel the experience of what the continent has to offer and in particularly Ghana with mm -hmm. its its spirit, its developments, its uh, commerce, its economic opportunity, yeah. and um, its thriving economy. Mm -hmm. It is a place that you feel comfortable doing business yeah. and engaging. I see. Being the lead um, in Intuitive Global, what are some of the business opportunities that you think um, investors or diasporas should be looking uh, forward to when it comes to investing in Ghana? Investing in Ghana is really going to um, be based on the economic value and mm -hmm. the economic development opportunities yeah. um, from real estate to technical um, development to um, really looking at fashion and, yeah. and various other resources that Ghana has to offer. Intuitive Global focuses on businesses that want market entry to the U.S. Yeah. We provide stakeholder engagement, okay. um, some research and development, depending on if that is a requirement for that business and how progressive yeah. they've actually been. But putting in place those activities that will allow them market entry, mm -hmm. developing that profile, building that capability statement, and having the interactions with the associations and the networks that will allow them to explore those opportunities, yeah. but more importantly, feel comfortable, mm -hmm. which is what RKE has really done for exactly. us. Making us feel welcome and comfortable with the compliance, uh -huh. that things are in order, they're being done decent and in order. Yeah. Um, because that is the relationship that mm -hmm. we wanted to establish and I really feel like we have accomplished that here. That is amazing to hear. Now, um, was it yesterday? 
Yes, we got the chance to visit our various sites. Speaking yes. of RK, I just want to say, you know, highlights on our relationship. I think it's beautiful, by the way. You being here this morning, you know, interacting with us. It's yes. just, it's wonderful, really. You got to see the sites. We have uh, various land holdings, both in the prime and in the countryside as well. We went to Osu, we went to Ebori. Yes. How did you how did you see it? How was the scenery, the views, the environment, everything? I mean, it's breathtaking. Yeah. It was absolutely breathtaking. It's not just being here on the soil yeah. and the resources and everything. It is a livable space. Mm -hmm. It was very um, breathtaking. Abri was phenomenal. Of yeah. course, the view is literally the view. The yeah. view of the world is almost what I could say. Um, you're standing in the heart of you know the yeah. east and the west side exactly. of Ghana, and you're experiencing what that looks like from that perspective. Yeah. So the developments are very nurturing. The environment is very crisp and clean. Yeah. I mean, it's climate friendly. It, it was just amazing. It was That's breathtaking. True. That's good to hear and i think you had a great time i was looking through the photos this morning i was like wow you guys looked amazing no, you guys were unbelievable in the planning <laughs> of that tour it Thank was you. totally unexpected mm -hmm. we brought the delegation yeah. to experience it we came to meet mr danny angels earlier that day yeah. and lined things up for the delegation mm -hmm. um, and we really didn't know what to expect for that yeah. tour but it was absolutely phenomenal mm -hmm. just having that opportunity to engage exactly. uh, having lisa really outline hey we're going to make this a valuable experience yeah. for the people attending the conference mm -hmm. she uh, really officiated that tour yeah. independently yeah. of the conference that amazing? so the the opportunity to go to that level of experience for our delegation yeah. and the members that joined us um, I think it took the relationship with Ghana to another level. Yeah, exactly. We do preach a lot that we are the one-stop shop. And when it comes to client relations, we don't play with that. So it was just an honor for us to have all of you, you know, give you the RKE treatment yes. and look forward to the Truly kind of royal. partnerships Truly royal. Exactly, that we're going to have in the future. Now, finally, before you go, mm -hmm. um, us being operatives in the Oland you know, investment sector in Ghana, would you encourage people, would you tell your clients to come to Ghana and purposely, you know, do uh, land banking or invest in land opportunities down here? Absolutely. We've taken the time and the opportunity to really vet the yeah. relationship with Mr. Danny Angels and look at what Royal Kingdom Estates yeah. can actually do when it comes to diaspora relationships. Mm -hmm. Not only diaspora relationships, but having that opportunity to make an impact, mm -hmm. a social impact yeah. um, on what it means to live here, to operate here, to develop here, to create jobs here. Exactly. Um, I'm a woman-owned business fan. Mm -hmm. um, women really matter in, in, in the big scheme of things in mm -hmm. terms of trade and development and learning and having the ability to even own their own property mm -hmm. um, to give youth jobs. So we have taken the opportunity to really vet what's available um, we plan to invest yeah. time, energy, mm -hmm. um, money yes. uh, into Ghana um, throughout this relationship. Yeah. And we'd like to see others do the same. And yeah. we plan to help facilitate that through our relationship with okay. uh, RK. Wonderful. If anybody wants to contact you for your services, how do they reach you? Absolutely. I'm Angelique Bartholomew and I am Intu Intuitive Global Consulting. And you can certainly find us at intuitiveglobalconsulting.com. My uh, number is 7131, of course, 713 WhatsApp. <laughs> WhatsApp is the best form of communication, which I've learned. Yes. Another application, <laughs> um, but it applies 713-875-5789. Mm -hmm. I can be reached at a Bartholomew at intuitivegc.com. And I look forward to hearing from you and possibly even working with you throughout this relationship. Yes. Well, thank you so much for having the time to speak to us. Miss Akosia. Akosia. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that's wonderful so guys there you have it it's been amazing speaking to her listen to you know all the wonderful knowledge that she has to share when it comes to her partnership with RKE and also you know land investments in the motherland to get in this is the, uh, the time we always say you don't wait to buy land you buy land and you wait so if you want to get in just reach out to us on all of our contact channels we are readily available to serve you subscribe like the video share it and stay tuned because we'll be back with more content shout out to my husband on the west side mm -hmm. as a realtor and broker as Ooh. well Brian Ooh. Brian Ooh. So he will be engaging in this wonderful effort. we can't wait to have him awesome thank you thank you <laughs>